Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. I am your host, Mr. Lucan. And today, today we're gonna do an action figure review on, on, oh my yeah! the amazing Yamaguchi Rebel Tech Gambit. There's no words. There's never any words. He's finally here. Da! I gotta stop screaming. Oh man, yeah. Oh my god, here he is, the amazing Yamaguchi, powered by Rebel Tech Gambit. And you're probably wondering why I'm showing off the back of the box first. For well, one, let's just take a closer look at the back of the box. You know, you know Gambit. You know, he's finally here. It's been years since we got a good, a good Gambit, and here he is. And the Marvel Legend Gambit is also coming soon. There's actually people who already got him early and they're selling him and stuff. So that's kind of well cool. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, Gambit. You know, we got Gambit right here, Gambit right here, 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 here. We got, you know, the amazing Yamaguchi box. You know, Gambit right there, more Gambit right here, and the figure itself. Is already out of the package. <laughs> I couldn't wait. Oh, cool. Put Gambit pose right there. I couldn't wait. I had to get Gambit out already. I mean, are you serious? It's Gambit, finally. Oh man. He he. Oh, uh, let's just let's just get to the figure already, shall we? <laughs> and here's the amazing Yamaguchi Gambit out of the packaging. And oh uh, uh, man, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna do really bad in this review. Is he even a review? I'm just geeking out on this guy. Look at this guy. Oh my god! Gambit is finally here! Oh! Look at him! This, like, just doing even this little, you know, pose is just. Oh, thank you, amazing Yamaguchi! Oh my god! Oh my god! I think that, like, man! 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 How's everyone doing, mon ami? Is is I get nah that the game don't sound like that. <laughs> I don't know. The raging Cajun finally here, and I gotta say, just you know, I mean, man, I mean, I, I've seen other reviews, and a lot of people, it's you know like, oh, this is wrong, this is wrong, like, you know, his his arm pieces break off easily, that they have to replace the the joint real quick, or the face keeps falling off. And you know what? Everyone's figure is different. And the reason why I say that is because mine has no flaws. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone, but I, I mean, I'm not. I mean, yeah, mine, you know, like the arm joints haven't broken on me yet. You know, never know. Maybe during this review it might happen. Ho hopefully not. <laughs> While I'm doing the articulation stuff, the face, the face doesn't fall off as easy as the ones I've seen on other videos. Mine is on there pretty good. The only time, if like when I'm moving the face down, like kind of all the way down, then that's when it starts to fall off. But if I keep it, you know, it doesn't fall off as as easy. So yeah, like for me, this this guy came out pretty damn perfect. <laughs> nothing, nothing crazy yet. And thank God, I was like, oh my God, everyone's gambits is, is being all dumb and stuff, and mine is just. And I hope mine doesn't do, do that. And yeah, my mine's mine, mine solid. <laughs> and yay. <laughs> and so anyway, yeah, let's let's get, take a look at his accessories, and then we'll take a closer look at the figure and just just get on. Now here are the accessories that the figure comes with. That line sounds always familiar. <laughs> anyway, yeah, these are the accessories that he comes with. And yeah, you get a lot of stuff. You get a lot of hands, and you get the cool card accessories. And that's not all the accessories that this gives you too. On the box, let's see if I can show it off. On the box, if I can make it fit right here, watch out, Gambit. Nope, nope, nope. <sighs> On the box. <laughs> They have these cards on the on the flaps that you could cut them out. <laughs> Took out the 
it's weird. I was like, oh my god, there's everything's gonna fall over. <laughs> so yeah, the, the flaps come with these cards that you can cut out. You know, so for him to just hold regular cards, you know, for your figures to, ha to have like uh, game night with Gambit, get ripped off by Gambit. <laughs> and yeah, uh, we get his bow staff. Pretty nice, cool bow staff. Looks nice. Sturdy, you know, and awesome. Typical bow staff, you know, gamut bow staff. Matches his his uh his colors, you know. I don't know what very I'm pretty sure this is like the astonishing maybe variant. Cause I know the the nineties I mean it's based it, it, it obviously it's the nineties uh gambit, but I don't remember his shoes being or like his everything that's silver, I don't remember it being silver. Or maybe, you know, it's supposed to be silver, but the colors, the lighting make it blue. I don't know, but it still looks good. <laughs> and uh, we get two alternate faces. You know? And a little tool to move his eye around. Mine are pretty okay, so I'm not going to really move the eyes. And so we get two really good alternate faces. You know, the little anime, <laughs> anime style, you know. Uh, faces that amazing Yaoi Gucci gives us, and these beautiful energy card effects that you know you put on the holding hands. Oh my god, it's like everything that we ever wanted in a Gambit figure it is finally here. Oh man, thank you, amazing Yaoi Gucci. Gambit, you fell over. <laughs> yeah, he wasn't really standing it. And okay, um, we also have these other card holding energy. Uh, effect that you put on two open hands to make him look like he's, you know, that it kind of it's like that effect from Marvel vs. Capcom uh, 2 when he does his special, you know, da da da. da. And you like the pose that I gave him? <laughs> he's not, he doesn't have his stuff on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Damn it, stay right there. And uh, yeah, and then we get all his hands, two additional arm pegs in case these break, which they they do tend to do. That is the one complaint about Amazing Yamaguchi. The the figures are great. I just like like everyone else. I do wish that with the money that we put in for these figures, that they would use me a better arm joint. I mean, they work. They they do what they do because they do the style. The, you know, the styling on point. But they break easily sometimes. You know, or they don't they don't break, but they'll snap off. And then once they snap off, when you put it back on. It'll just tend to snap off and on like whenever you want. That's why you have these replacements. So, yeah, I mean, that's like the one gripe of every amazing Yamaguchi figure. <laughs> but if you can live with it, you know, just psh, these figures are great. I love them. It's not, it's not cheap, but they're great. They're, oh, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm like I said in my other videos. I'm waiting for them to. Since they just dabbled into DC figures with Batman and Deathstroke, I'm waiting for a, a Superman figure, you know what I mean? That'd be great, like a comic book uh, Superman, either New 52 or older. I would prefer the older style, that'd be, that'd be awesome. With a wired cape, please. Amazing Yamaguchi. <laughs> okay, and so, and then, okay, we have also uh, one, two, three, uh, four sets. Of hands and the hands that he comes with are two fisted hands two accessory holding hands like his bow staff and his uh, card for you know energy blasting which looks awesome Gambit gonna deal you the card cuz he's got two uh, energy card holding hands for his special in Marvel's Capcom 2 was that kind of occasion enough I don't know but well, there you go, those those all oh, those accessories in those hands. Beautiful. Ah, oh, again, amazing Yamaguchi. Thank you. And then finally we have two uh holding the extra cards that come in the box or just open relax one yeah, kinda of relax or open you know, hands. <laughs> two additional styling hands. <laughs> I use these hands, like I use one of them to like, you know, he's like trying to caress rogues you know cheek but then rogue would like slap it because you know it would it would just mess up gambit <laughs> but yeah those are his hands all right so let's take a look let's take a closer look at gambit now <laughs> ah 
Gambit! Oh, Gambit! All right, here we are. Let's take a look at this Gambit right here. Just on top mint. There's just no words. Everything on this guy is, in my opinion, everything on this guy is just, just fantastic. It's been a long, like I said earlier, it's been a long time since we had a decent Gambit. The, the only other Gambits I can think of are the Toy Biz, Marvel Legend Toy Biz, and the Marvel Select Gambit. And I think the Marvel Select Gambit is not that like poseable, and he's, I don't know, too big. He's like six, like six and a half to seven inches, or no, probably more. Or I don't know, I'm not sure. But this one right here, this one is just on point. Size-wise, he'll fit. He'll fit beautifully with Marvel Legends. The rest of the amazing Yamaguchi X-Men figures. He's just awesome. So, Alright, so let's take a look at his his, uh, his articulation. Head, you know, moves up pretty damn good. And then moving it down, also pretty good. You don't want to go too far. And that's when the head will start to collapse on people. I've noticed that. And actually, this alternate face right here, the uh, angry face one, is it's on there pretty good. Pretty damn good damn good you know the coat is articulated you know it's got those <laughs> it's mimicking those joints that the other figures got those side rib cage side ones that move up so the kick and it makes more sense with him because Gambit's wearing you know he's got a coat on you know what I mean awesome trench coat you know uh, he's, he's got he could crunch forward pretty far down just gotta make sure like a lot of people they have their thing uh, the floating crotch piece is going under it you just gotta like just do your best to get in there without you know scraping it me mine came like I said mine came out flawless okay no not flawless you know what mine has this defect his little shoulder little shoulder pad thing comes off so easily so it's not perfect <laughs> but at least the major stuff like the face and all that stuff is not too bad and then like everyone's little crotch piece right here it would uh, like over flap it. and you want it under so like you know, just do your best to you know get under and so then we got the these <laughs> these little amazing Yamaguchi uh, armpit joints which they they do their they do a good job I, if they could do what Figma's doing could Figma started to do this too on their figures but like the, the plastic or the material like on the on on the Figma Genji and the Figma uh, Lancer from Fate Stay Night. They have a type of joint that's like this, but it's just it's not it's not as ugly as <laughs> it's not as ugly as this. But it's just I don't know. It, it, it works. A lot of a lot of their their figures are having that now. Which is this one. I mean the plastic is just uh, these ratchet joints. Ugh. But anyway, yeah, you can move it up. So you know he could have his hand up in the air like that. He could hug himself. You know, he can hold his cards like that. You know, I gotta fight. I gotta see. I don't know what I'm gonna do right here. That's like the only thing I got. It doesn't stay. Like it stays on, but then like if I start to mess with it a lot and stuff, it'll, it'll like feel like it's falling on off on him like a lot when I try to pose him. That's my only, my only QC issue on that. But it's not that bad. You know. So we got the coat. The, thing. the coat itself. That's why I don't like it there, like right there's kind of splitting, kind of scares me, but I don't think it's bad. Like, what, it tells you which way it goes, see? like that, and then you could twist the joint, not the joint, but that, like that, to make it look like in the box, like his coat up in the air, you know what I mean? Like that, and just make it, you know, you could wiggle on, it's not the best, you know, I, I kind of think if anyone out there, you know, could figure out maybe hello I mean come on we've done it with Batman we've done it with Magneto we've gotten wire capes on them for their clunky little thing can we figure out how to maybe put a cloth bottom piece to connect right here and here with wire that would be that would be you know and have this like belt thing on the on the on the cloth so that way we could have a fat. I don't know. Like it, I don't know if it look good or not because you gotta match this brown. But that's what I was thinking. Like if someone out there could do a a wired, you know, not a wired coat. A lot there's a lot of wired coats, but you can't put this on this type of figure. It's not gonna work out as well. See, it fell off. <laughs> I 
I got it. I don't know. I might like super glue right here and then just like to make give it another layer or something. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I was thinking when I first got this figure. Like, huh? Like maybe we could do something to put a fabric wire cape that covers this. So you know, make it look a little flawless. There's the gambit butt right there. <laughs> and yeah, so you know. Well, other than that, no, it looks pretty cool. Like I, I would, I would even if I had that option to get the like a fabric. A oh, wire thing. I just keep it like this. Cause it looks cool. <laughs> ah, mon ami, uh, the wind <laughs> is in my face. <laughs> All right, and then the legs. We got the kind of newer, like Carnage uh, Wolverine. It's got a big ball, giant ball uh, peg right here for the legs, so you can move it out that way. Not too much far back, cause the butt's kind of in the way. And then you got thigh to make it look like you know so you want gambit to kick outward you gotta you know mess with that you know do the high kick do the rebel, do the rebel tech high kick you know I think I don't have that song in the background playing so I don't even know why I just hummed it <laughs> okay so that that works like that you got the ratchet joint and the little cap right here that, that we all wish that the Batman had that looks flawless. Look at that. That's a knee right there. <laughs> they got that on the camera. Did they got that. You have that. Have to go in more. There you go. See, that's a knee right there. Get kneed by that. <laughs> and yeah, and then the feet. They move down, up, toe, and a nice pivot. Ankle pivot. And sh man, again. Amazing Yamaguchi, thank you again for this gambit. I know a lot of people appreciate that. We've been <laughs> wanting a gambit for a long time. I was gonna say hopefully they would make a Amazing Yamaguchi would make a Cyclops, and you know why not? But we got the new Mafex Wolverine and Cyclops coming out for the 90s. So just I mean it's cool too. I love to mix and match different company figures. You know Mafex, you know Marvel Legends, uh, Figma. Figure arts. I love you know mix and matching, as I'll probably show towards the end of the video. But yeah, this guy, this 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 guy, man. Oh man, I don't like that joint. I'm pretty sure like even if it were to pop out, you just put it back in. You can't really do the side that much for it to kick down the side. You gotta really like play with it. And you got that gap. That's that one thing about this figure is like ah, wish the coat was. A little bit better, but I mean, you get the picture, right? Get, get, get in there. There we go. <laughs> yeah, what's going on, what I means? You can even do this. Is the great representation too of the Marvel vs. Capcom Gambit. You could get him in his uh, fighting pose. Literally, like I'll probably have a picture of that on my Instagram of him doing that pose. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, let's do some size comparison with this guy, shall we? Now, here's the amazing Yamaguchi Power by Rebel Tech Gambit next to the last figure uh, that I did a review on, the Mar Marvel Legend, the <laughs> the SH Figure Arts uh, Infinity War, Avengers Infinity War uh, Thor. <laughs> And yeah, Gambit's freaking tall. <laughs> I don't know if that's even accurate. Is Gambit taller than... Thor, like comic book Thor, or is Thor supposed to be bigger? Huh? I don't know. I don't know. These two are part of the same universe. Who would win in a fight? I don't. <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Gambit, of course. No. <laughs> no, I think I think that would have to go. I mean, if Gambit had backup from his X Men, you know, then yeah. But if it's just Gambit versus Thor, damn Gambit, you, you gotta use those cars as a distraction. <laughs> the God of Thunder gonna you up <laughs> yeah that's pretty good pretty good sizing mm -hmm. Thor or Chris it's not that bad like I said I like to mix and match but I mean kind of like no, I oh, come on amazing Yamaguchi we got uh we got a uh, Iron Man coming out we already have Captain America we need a uh, Thor <laughs> so we need Superman and we need Thor come on amazing Yamaguchi and here's the amazing Yamaguchi gambit with the Marvel Legends Rogue. I mean, look that, that beautiful. Of all the pairings in the world, 
this right here is a mwah. Thank you. Oh man. Can we get up? <laughs> Can we get rogue? Amazing Yamaguchi's gotta do all of them now. They've gone this far in the rot rabbit hole. We got Deadpool, we got Wolverine, we got like we got and we got Gambit, we got Magneto. We need the rest. Either or, either side, Mayfex or Amazing Yamaguchi, because you know Mayfex is and Mayfex came out of nowhere for me, seriously. <laughs> All right, on to the next comparison. And here's the amazing Yamaguchi Gambit with another Marvel Legends figure, the Marvel Legends Cyclops. He will be replaced with the Mayfex Cyclops. But even, like, regardless though, he, oh my God, he just looks good with his fellow 90s X-Men uh, characters. It's just, ah, oh, man. And then, okay, one more comparison. Ah, this Gambit is just, oh, thank you. And here's the amazing Yamaguchi Gambit with the amazing Yamaguchi Wolverine. This review's over. <laughs> Look at this right here. This, oh, oh, man. Can we get the rest? Even this Wolverine is just awesome. This Wolverine, the Marvel Legends Wolverine, which I don't I have him out right now. But yeah, he just, oh, man, 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 man. Woo! He looks good with his fellow uh, Amazing Yamaguchi figure. He looks good with uh, Marvel Legends. Even with the head being small, like it's, it still works. You know what I mean? It's just, ah, oh, man. Man. All right, and on to the last uh, comparisons. And there you have it. It's not all the X-Men, but it, it, the, the team is forming. I mean, the Marvel Legends coming out with Beast and Jubilee. And their own gambit. You know, Professor X just came out. All we need is a, 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 a new Jean Grey. And that, that's it. You know, Forge and Morph. So, well, I already have Colossus. Deadpool. The X-Men team is, is, is going to be assembled. It's just, ah. Oh. And then, you guys like that? The Mayfix uh, Spider-Man is there. You know what I mean? That, that episode and back in the 90s in the amazing uh, Spider-Man show uh, when he goes to Professor Xavier's house and he gets caught and captured by the X-Men. It's just, oh, the nostalgia. The, uh, amazing Yamaguchi, there's no other words on how I can say thank you for these, for these figures. And like I said, look, mix and match. Two Amazing Yamaguchi figures, two Marvel Legends, and a Mayfix. Okay, you get the point. Let me, let me just throw Spider-Man in the mix right now, too. You know, you know, later on we're gonna get uh, the Mez the Mezco. The yeah, you, you know, do with Mezco. I'm not, I'm not too, I'm not a fan really of Mezco that much. I like these right here. <laughs> these type of figures. You know, is Mezco the one with the with the clothing clothing type of things? I I don't know. Don't don't quote me on that. But then bam, you know, look, Spider Man. You know, joining the team, helping out the X-Men. And he does that too in one of the episodes from back in the day. Come on, Spidey. Stan. 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 Stan right there with Rogue. I remember in the show, Rogue was flirting with you. I don't know how Gamma didn't get... <laughs> we could use you on your team. Yeah, you're a regular race. That was not a Gambit voice. Wow. <laughs> and look at that. Wow! This might be, I don't know, I might use this as a thumbnail or not, or just, ugh, I don't know. But like I said, uh, thank you so much for watching. This figure is great, is good. And if, if, I mean, if you're not a fan of the Amazing Yamaguchi uh, joints, I got used to them. Every line of figure has different joints that you have to learn and how to, you know, fake mode. Figure arts. Marvel, well, Marvel Legends are simple. Mayfex. I mean, like, there's some Mayfex figures that you gotta be delicate with them or they're gonna break. I've heard the Wonder Woman figures' arms would break off if you're just manhandling the damn thing. You gotta be careful with your figures. Even though you're spending a lot of money, I mean, they're, they're, it's still plastic. <laughs> they're using plastic to get these things, you know, executed right. And this Gambit is no exception. Oh, man. Like I said, the only issue my Gambit came with was just that the shoulder flap you know falls off it, it you know it articulates but it falls off. I don't know I might I'm not gonna glue it but I'm gonna, I'm gonna see what I could do or just leave it alone because it just falls off every now and then 
like when I'm posing him. Once I pose him, leave him alone, that's it, you know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah, anyway, like I said, thank you so much for watching. It, there's no words. It is highly recommended. Like I said, I'm repeating myself already. Like I said, highly recommended. If you can live with the joints, it, this figure is for you. Like Gambit, we finally got an awesome Gambit. But if not, you want something cheaper, because I know this figure is probably like 75, 80 buck range. You know, uh, the Marvel Legends Gambit, good. <laughs> and then that one, I'm pretty sure we could put on a wire cloth, uh, a wire cloth, uh, we call it trench coat on him. Maybe just like on the, not on the arms. We could leave the arms exposed, but just like, you know. So that, that could that could work out I mean, with that. I'm not gonna get one, I'm experimenting with that one, you know what I mean? So yeah, like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.